health has to be the main objective of any healthcare system. We have been talking a lot about other things, for example, number of beds per patient, days of stay in the hospital. This is important, but this cannot be the ultimate goal. There's a limited amount of money for the health service to spend. Healthcare spending is going faster than the growth of GDP. Not everything can be made available. It's a decision. How much do we want to pay for that? If we focus on getting the best health to the population at a given cost, the transformation will just follow. There are so much research being published that no one doctor can keep up to date with all the information that's available. One of the key elements of putting outcomes in the centre basically is using evidence-based healthcare. What do we need though to enable evidence to be used successfully? So an evidence-based healthcare system will help that doctor by putting in place a process that can get all of that evidence that comes in, have it interpreted and putting that information in a concise form we are talking about which is the treatment that really brings the best value to the patient at a given cost. Nowadays, most healthcare providers, but also pharma companies, for instance, are paid for the number of activities they conduct. Outcome-based healthcare is a relatively new concept in the healthcare provision. Instead of just a conversation about price, we can now have a conversation about value. Paying for value is basically tying the payment to the outcomes achieved. So if you do very well in the outcomes that matter to the patients, you get a higher reward in terms of market share or a better price. It also uh, implies a fundamental change of the way that uh, care is delivered. We have a concentration in technology in the hospitals that probably is not needed. We focus too much in the acute patients. All the other instruments of the care are somehow depending on the, this hospital-centric vision. I'm sure it's going to be more efficient to have some of this technology at the point of care at the primary care. A cognitive system is a system that is capable to understand natural language. It's a system that also learns and adapts. And it's a system that provides recommendations based on hypotheses and evidence-based information. Technology is there to change the way we have been doing things, to do it better and more efficiently. We are talking about the mobile and maybe talking to the doctor there, but there are other possibilities. All of us are going to be creating a lot of data. You can have uh, some sensors that uh, can measure your pressure, can measure all kinds of variables from your own body. So being able to actually ingest this information and understand the context, being able to compare it with clinical data, genomic data, we're going to be able to have a much more personalized medicine. It is the cognitive era. What we can do in the future is just grand. <laughs>